and we are back like Damien Lowe. Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. I'm Simon Preston, that's Mr. Blake, also known as Cataract Sound, and he is going to be playing some music for us this evening. Yes, that is right. Mr. Blake, how art thou? I'm good, Simon. Enjoying a nice pint of coconut water. Pint. Coconut water? That looks like soda. <laughs> nah, man. Fresh from the nut. Very stereotypical. <laughs> yes, we drink coconut yeah. water here in the tropics. Yeah, Jamaica is a blessed island, to be honest with you. Absolutely. I have a lot to be thankful for. Absolutely. Stop shooting at the people there. Let's live in peace. Best little place in the world. This rock we call Jamaica. Yeah, start of the EFL, Simon. Be... Yeah. And, and what a saying, start it was. What a start it was. What a start it was. Um, you know, for those of the English Football League, Championship League One and League Two kicked off today. And I thought, you know, each week or so we can keep track of our boys the man them see what the man them are doing at the league and some people we are in the departure lounge so we need to check on some of the people who got through the simon's check-in very generous check-in and see if we need to stop them at immigration because if you're not pulling your weight for your club we have a talk of the things no free passes here yeah. it's not a joke thing so, lots of boys in action today. Are we going to stick with the those who we don't have their passports and ready and ready to go and in a few problem areas and to see what you know what's out there for us and how things are shaping up? Mm -hmm. So, we start in the middle of the pack. Yeah, the middle, which has been a problem for us, Simon. It really has. Yes, been. and we have to we have to run the middle like Declan Rice. Yes, indeed, <laughs> we do. And no, we are looking. We are looking for that kind of player. Um, we are looking for that kind of player, and unfortunately, what happened today? Yeah, I didn't see him. Not Kevin on the bench. Kevin Stewart was not on the bench for Blackpool. I looked really concerned. Jordan Cousins played a whopping two minutes in League One for his new club Wigan. A whopping 120 seconds. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, but but they should get four, five games before we take on the mighty Mexicans. Yeah, but I, I was tell you what, I was really hoping that um to see. them really assert themselves at their clubs and into the starting lineup you know mm. um we right. do have to ask what's up with kevin stewart though is it an injury could it be not on the bench totally and to finish as a starter for 90 minutes in the promotion game um so i know you're Great journalist from TVJ, Simon. Put all those feelers, reach out and give us an update. I'll certainly work on that. Fans no want to know. Fans want to know. Kevin Stewart, Jamaican passport, didn't play, wasn't on the bench today. Jordan Cousins came on in the 88th minute. Um, I think that was a one hour draw for Wigan. Mm. And there. Raphael Morrison. Signed for Derby County. So the entire Ravel Morrison Church wanna say amen. So Ravel. <laughs> put your head down, work hard, 
stay out of controversy play hard get fit get match fit and ready for the aztec of and jamaica the last chance brother i was on a program last night and i i said i would advise robert to sign that blank contract i mean it's a really idiot thing to be offering players blank contract and no money in there yeah. i think he saw the footballing um potential in, in in playing and kudos to Ravel. wasn't on the bench today wasn't wasn't um a part of the lineup but hopefully he will be next week and going forward his good friend and boss rain rooney yes he he should be available for selection for the league cup game on tuesday derby county plays against salford city so that's the first game he'll be eligible for selection tuesday coming uh, yeah yeah let's see what's happening get a 90 minutes in those legs get the passing yeah. range um, accuracy turned out wonderful um a little interesting one here that i came up with yeah it up in league two people need to hear about this mm -hmm. but two jamaicans faced off against each other as captain versus captain mm -hmm. sutton united versus forest green rovers jama with the hammer jamil matt jamil matt versus craig eastman Interestingly, Craig's secondary position is central midfield. Didn't have a bad game. Ended 2 1 for in favor of Forest Green Rovers. Welcome to the yes, league, sir. Sutton United. Certainly a baptism of fire. But Eastman played 90 minutes, had 46 touches. Um, no assists, no big chances. Accuracy of his passing was a bit was low, um, fifty eight percent. Although in his own half, it was eighty one percent. But when he went in the opposition's half, it was thirty five percent. His long ball accuracy was thirty three percent. He had three of those, and he had thirty three percent in chipped passes. Had his one tackle and three interceptions in the game. And he was only dribbled past one time. Um, his successful dribbles, he didn't have any, but he won 43% of the ground jewels that he went into. At six, sorry, total jewels. He won two ground jewels and won four aerial duels. But he lost possession 17 times committed three fouls and was fouled three times 30 year old craig eastman playing wow. as a center back it's just amazing how time flies by because 12 years ago this was an 18 year old making his debut for arsenal in the premier league and now this is a big man See how time flies in this game? Time flies. When Daniel Johnson was 18, he was ready for a reggae boys call up. He's 28, 29 now. Indeed, indeed. Time indeed, waits on indeed. no one. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And if we looked on the flip side in that game, Try to do these things quickly as we can. Um, mm -hmm. Jamal Matt had a more active game as striker and also played for 90 minutes, captain. No assists, had 41 touches, had two shots for the game. None of the two were on target. 
Um, didn't miss any chances. Um, 55% accuracy passing, 60% in his own half, and 50 and 54% in opposition half. And of course, we wouldn't expect him to do much. But he won he won 20% of the ground duels that he went into and 50% of the aerial duels. He won six of them. Lost possession 19 times, committed two fouls, and was fouled once. I'm still talking for him to get a sniff in age 30, Jamil Matt. Um, but he hasn't kicked off yet in the league. Has it opened his account? Not yet. Somebody getting a baptism of fire? Johnson Clark Harris in the championship. Yep. Big ball game now. Not League Big One. Man. Big man thing. And Luton Town put them to the sword. Three love. Johnson Clark played for 90 minutes. Had 38 touches. Um, didn't have any shots. Didn't have any shots at all. Um, you know, that's a bit concerning. But, yep. 38 touches. Only a, um, 38% accuracy in his passing. Um, had one tackle in the game, won 10 ground duels, sorry, won four ground duels, 80% of the ground duels, and won 50% of his aerial duels, so six aerial duels and four ground duels, so he, he was battling for the ball. Unfortunately, 27-year-old Johnson Clark Harris lost possession 21 times. So it was a bit of a baptism, a baptism of fire for our friend Jono. Uh, but we wish him well. Hope he gets on the hope he gets on the score sheet. Um and it'll pick up. You know, you have to get used to all the things running at the big man league, you know. You do, you do, you do. Yeah, like everything in life, it's time. When Jamie Vardy was first in the Premier League, he scored only five goals the, the first season. The next year, banging in 20 in the Premier League. Sometimes you need that season to just gel in and have that transition. You can definitely see the quality in Johnson Clark Harris, and he's not unfamiliar to the championship, even from his time at Leicester in the academy. He would have known what it was like, even though he didn't play a lot. Sometimes you just need a little bit of time to be able to gel in and settle. Vardy as well, when he was non-league and was made that jump to the championship. Same thing too. Sometimes players will just have a smooth transition. And for others, 18 months, a year, perhaps. Look forward. So he came up against the current reggae boy in none other than Mari Bell. Dum dum dum. AKA Uber. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Next. Hit the comment button, hit the like button, hit the comment if you, if you agree with that name for Amari Bell. Uber, he was given that name, christened um, at the Gold Cup. Because if you have a taxi, you must have an Uber. Yeah, Uber but expensive, he, you know. But go yeah, on to expensive ball. He, had a, he, he was transferred for good and decent money. It wasn't yeah. no free transfer. Yeah. Um, But I'm wondering if it's two Amari Bells. So I'm saying, Amari, you see the way you play today? Try yeah. play so. Yeah. If whenever you put on a Jamaican shirt. By the way, the fool in this. Thank you. One shot on target. I did not know Amari Bell could get into the attack. Yes. Him can shoot a football, you know. 
May I tell you? Two key passes, 78 touches, 49 passes at an 87.8% accuracy, putting in four tackles and committing no fouls. Either he's gotten a good game or gotten some confidence from international football, but this is certainly a top performance. And his team, Luton Town, 3 nil winners. Congratulations, Amari Bell. Who else was on display today? Well, in Probably the championship. Casey Palmer. Bristol City. Bristol City. 1-1 one, one draw. 1-1 one, one draw. Casey came on as a 13-minute substitute. Um, for some for Callum Odoi, who was injured, and he was subbed off after 88 minutes, putting in a ship. Two shots, one on target, 43 touches, 27 passes, and a 55% accuracy. That is dismal for an attacking midfielder, Casey. These are not the numbers that are going to impress Tampa. Big man, too. Although he's listened to his manager, as he made three tackles, improved his work rate. But got the got the first point of the campaign, and a lot of minutes, a lot of minutes. Liam Moore scored a goal in the 60th minute in a. In a Guardsman. Losing effort for inside guardsman. Um, got a yellow card on the twenty fourth minute. Had one shot on target. Forty touches, thirty passes, sixty three point three percent accuracy, and only committed one foul. But that foul was the card. So, um, and they lost. You know, in a five, you know, five goals for them. I think it was three two. If I'm correct. 3-2, that is right. Yeah. And Jamal Lowe. Swansea City. Swansea City. Didn't have so much of a pretty start. No, difficult, difficult opening day for them. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. 33 touches, 21 passes at a 71% accuracy. Won three fouls and committed one. But critically, he didn't have any shots or key passes throughout the game. So it was a bit of a... not such a good look. Yeah, the trip up to Lancashire. Blackburn Rovers getting the three points there. A very, very tough and long journey back to South Wales now. Absolutely. And I think that... Pretty much is there anyone that you're interested in, Simon? Anyone caught your eye? But that's pretty much the team. Well, we don't have to talk about Ethan Pinnock anymore because Rupert is in the prem. That's right. I'm, I'm disappointed with my namesake performance in the Premier League. Not Premier League, in the Championship today. Especially bearing in mind that it's a Yorkshire, Yorkshire club that beat us today. And that's Preston North End. We lost 4-1 to the mighty Hull from East Yorkshire. Bit of a hammering. And it's not like it was over in East Yorkshire. This is a deep deal in Lancashire. Former club of Tapper Whitmore. No? Yeah. yeah. Tapper. Pepe. I went, I went to university there. Yes, of course. Kingston Tigers. Kingston Tigers. Rugby big, Town. Big rug Rugby league, yeah, massive Big there. Rugby league, yeah. Hull run out. I'll have to check and look on some of those players who may have um, Jamaican antecedents. But yeah, so Daniel Johnson came on in the second half, as you know, with the Gold Cup performance, he was given an extended break. So he'll he'll return to the starting eleven soon. It's just that he didn't participate much in pre-season training with Preston, so he's given an additional week to elevate the legs. But you'll see him back in the 11 soon. Yes, he played 20 minutes under his belt. 
um, had 18 touches, 77% accuracy with the passing, and he won possession once. He had a one interception and one fifty percent, one hundred percent of his ground duels, actually. Um, and interestingly, I don't see anything about him giving away the ball here. So Daniel, please, when you come to play for Jamaica, try this one here. Right, you know. So a good run out of twenty minutes um, for DJ, and. Asian Oh I would like to big up my good friend who scored a brace today in League One. Who is that, that is none other than G Mac Gareth McCleary. Wickham Gareth McCleary. Oh there's a throwback. Accrington Stanley. Who are they? But Accrington, are they up in the earth? Yeah. Yeah, they're in Lancashire. Yeah. They're in Lancashire. Yeah. Neck of the woods. Yeah, yeah. You're in neck of the woods. Accrington Stanley. One of the founding clubs for the league, actually. Mm. Accrington. But got a bit of a pummeling from Wickham. Apologize, Gart McCleary, elder statesman. Yeah. Let your, let your name ring out. Let your yeah. name ring out. I let unapologetically you. state that he was not treated well at all. And I unapologetically state that he was betrayed for the 2019 Gold Cup. Big up yourself, Gareth. You're a general. Strong words. Yes. He was promised to be on the plane to the Gold Cup in 2019. And last minute. Zoop, Wow. I feel it for him. Um, Still have good memories, Gareth. You've done us proud in when you've played. You've done us proud. Big up Darren Moore. Sheffield Wednesday. Um, getting, a, getting a point on the road against point. Charlton. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Difficult uh, yeah. place to travel to Charlton Athletic. Um, yeah. Jason Ewell. Long journey. Yes, and Joel is the coach of the women's team there. He Charles. is. And he's done some decent work, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. But big up Darren Moore. It's important to get your first point on the board. You know? Mm -hmm. The journey of a thousand miles or a journey of 40 points takes one step. So you want to be safe first, but you need to get into that promotion and bring back Sheffield Wednesday to where they belong. Sheffield Wednesday is really a, a championship club. If you remember back in the day, they were a Premier League team because they used to have yeah. the um, Sheffield Derby between Sheffield oh, Wednesday yes. and Sheffield United. The Owls Man. versus the Big Blades. Game. Wow. Massive, massive game. Need to get back some of those massive Derby games. Bing. Yeah. And so people... The 90s were good. Yeah. We're off and running, and we will keep an eye on Reggae Boys that come. Encourage all of those who have them Jamaican passport, do well, stay injury free, and turn up the thing in your league, wherever you are. Look forward to hearing what's happening in other leagues around the world. I don't watch those leagues, I watch British football, mate. But to all the others who are in the various leagues, Shaman Nicholson. Get your shooting boots on when the league kicks off in Belgium, please. Please, young now, man, please. Now I'm going to say it again. Come off my acting. Knuckle down. Got a lot to learn. Yeah. Far from Good the finished thing. product, but you're young. Get back to focus. Work on those things on the training ground, put in the extra hours. Reggae Boys fans, 
I try doing this for you because you know Leeds is in the Premier League now, so I've got to keep my eye on the bigger picture. So, what's the goal for this season? Top eight, top six. Leeds. Yeah, Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Top ten, maintain. No ambitions about our station, mate. You're not drawing me out. You understand? That's a bit Good. reserved. Yes, very reserved. Stability. Yeah. Become a perennial Premier League team. Okay. In Bielsa, we trust. Make him happy and you'll be fine. If Bielsa wants to have Daniel Johnson, give him the money and can buy Daniel Johnson. If Bielsa wants Lamar Walker, just give him the money and get it, let him get Bielsa. You don't want to get him angry. Just give him the dash. Yeah, clearly, I'm not. Dash. Clearly, I'm not. We've had six signings. We're good down here. That's the good thing about it, Simon. You won't have to wait Tell too me. long to have all the questions answered. <laughs> Wipe that smirk off your face. Yes. Regga boys, fans. I mean, <laughs> uh next week Saturday can't come soon enough. Can't come soon enough. Tell us what you think in the comment section about the performance of our boys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the post notification bell. Around put it in. Don't call up a friend and come around a yard and hit it for you. Yeah? Just do the right That's thing. Right. Be polite. Yeah. Knock on the door. Mr. Blake has those links. So do it. Have those links. Half light. And people, get ready for more discussions, more in-depth stats as we look to the run-up, the build-up to September 2nd. Um, I try to see how the Mexico thing can go in a Simon. That's how I think. But JFF, mm -hmm. what I mean? When I had a charter flight, I go. Those were the days we're back. Charter man. flight? Yeah, man. I had to get a charter flight. One, two hundred away. Go this on. Beer sitting, sitting. Mm. You need that support, even just to see. I... Oh, no, there are no fans allowed. Yeah, no not a fans allowed. No fans allowed. Unless sticker. we get your media accreditation. Unless we get your media accreditation. Work on that, Simon. Simon says. <laughs> Reggae Boys. Like working for Reggae Boys commentary. <laughs> dot com. People, do the right thing. Hit the like video. Share it. I don't normally set up, but share it so you know can get some new subscribers. The road to 15,000. Remember, we're the only Reggae Boys channel with yes. five figures. 11,000, nearly 11,000. Five figures. Big up all those with the four figures. But the original and the credible. Big up the tree too, because they're do them thing. Yeah, big up the tree. They just start, yeah, man. You know, big up the one that just start waiting. Um, more the merrier. This is really what it's incredible. Big up yourself. Tree, any weather, yeah, man. You know, sir, drive from Jacksonville, come pick me up. Down in the Palm Bay there, two hour drive, two and a half hour drive General to the number. gear. Drop me back two and a half hours and then take a Two hour drive, three hour drive, go back at Jacksonville. Wow. Jay, anywhere that the bus section 115. I forget, drive maybe a couple Costa Rica where that spill the beer, but you know, mm. that stand up. The match was tense. Yeah. Love Jay, anywhere that has. Um, and all those who give respect, you know, Sir Coach Minzy, you know, the thing go. Um, but that's a discussion forum. This year, we look at a lot of stats and facts. Takes many different avenues to make the thing. Hope this has been a good half an hour for you. Um, again, congratulations to all the boys who have run out for the clubs. And look for those who didn't start this week. Look to get on the starting sheet next week. Um, the League Cup is the, in the midweek. Let's see what happens.
And stay safe. safe. Live in peace. Protect yourself. Don't take no unnecessary risks in this. What they call it, Simon? Third wave of COVID. We want everybody healthy for when Panama arrives in the office. Yeah, we'll be ready to sp smash them for sex. Ah, don't want that. <laughs> Give me a nice tool of I'm always good with that. You know. Yeah. Don't want to go play no open game and then they hit me on the break. But hey, not with that defensive partnership, not with guards, man. And the Minister of Defense showing her back. It's good. Big up Adrian yeah. Maria Puffer. Big up yeah. Liam Moore. Big up Big Damian up. Lowe. Big up Rupert. Big up Rupert. AKA Ethan Pinnock. Four big man in that center park. And all directed by Andre Blake. Superman. So love how the love how, love how that part I think shaping up. Let's get the rest of it up and running. Liam Bailey. Congratulations on your signing for Aston Villa. He's going to West Midlands, lad. He's going to Birmingham. He's going to Birmingham. He's going to have a cup of tea. He's going to go to Birmingham. Cup of tea, mate. And it's not Birmingham. It's Birmingham Veg. Can't be a Rasta man live there. But they are. <laughs> uh, Birmingham Veg. Big up the whole Birmingham. You know what I mean? you got a nice footballer there. Liam, I hope he step up to the plate and really excel for this opportunity got some big shoes to fill uncle jack Grealish, birmingham born and brothers departed but you also have buendia yeah just joined, so make a link with him and um ollie watkins up front so feed ollie watkins. feed ollie yeah man feed ollie, 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 ollie. Ollie. ollie 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 yeah feed him and you know settling Birmingham is a nice place, you know. Big up the whole Hansworth, Hockley, West Bromwich. Solly Hall. Um, that's a bit far out, mate. Great <laughs> Bar, Perry Bar, Aston, Proper, Meachills, yeah. Erdington, Edmonton, Winston Green. My place is them now. King Standing, Boldmere, Streetly, Sutton Coldfield, Four Oaks. You want Birmingham, man. You know the thing already. You know the badness. Basel Heat. Nichols. Hockley. Pick up on yourself. And with that, and we blow the full time whistle. Beep. We'll be back for more. Mr. Blake will be back next week. But in the meantime, check out who's on the plane. Because Simon just gave everybody a boarding pass. But I'll be back in these coming weeks, you know. Yeah. The immigration. Just call me immigration. So you check in and your luggage that over with, but you have to pass immigration. So I'll be watching you, lads, to see how you're doing in your leagues. Big up all reggae boys around the world. Do well.